I'm small but a big fan. Hi. Hi, Yogi. If we are not hardwired to be happy, why are kids so happy? That's a great question. Um, because they're just discovering the world. The world's great. What's not to be happy about? But, like, we are literally... I forget what it's Make called. It I forget what it's called. I should know the name, but... We are literally hardwired for survival. Perf two perfect symmetry triggers uncanny. Yes. In our lifetime, I think there's going to be upgrade type of shit, like pay 20k for your kid to have blue eyes, etc. That's already happening, Dylan. My ex-girlfriend, for sure, that's already happening. Um, my ex-girlfriend was a jerk to me. For me, Adriana, you're very nice to me. Always have my back as a new friend. Oh, well, I'm glad. I'm glad you're here. I hope you can get over it, and then I hope you can get out and find some other ladies. Hot ta, no hot ta. Definitely give us the hot. There you go. I kind of start that uh, it would. I kind of start that it would work. Girls just making me waste my damn time those days. Kev, can you read? Can you type that differently? I'm still trying to understand. Said having a roommate red flag. Okay, type that too. I don't know the question. Why did the beach? Okay. I'm 38. She's 28. Sometimes I feel bad just to have feeling for her. Am I a bad person? No, I think that's perfectly fine. 28 to 38? That's fine. She's not 21. What are your thoughts on being out of someone's league? You're never out of somebody's league if you love them. That is a made up, that's a made up statement by jealous people. That's a jealous person's sentence right there. Don't repeat it. Let that sentence die. I fight for my life, and it's an unfair fight, too. Napoleon, life is really hard, and it does feel unfair sometimes. But you have to try and spin it a different way. And I think if you think it's always too hard, the best thing you can do is, is find someone to talk to, like a therapist or something, because there could be like pathways to get out of situations in your life that your brain is literally not letting you see because you're so used to fighting or so used to being in the negative. It's really hard to get unstuck if you're stuck. And I think a lot of the times, if you can do it with a self-help book, that's great. But a lot of people, we need professional help. We don't have the tools to, to you know, get out of these situations sometimes. I wish I had my first relationship. <laughs> Hi, what's up, Kadoza? Should you date a coworker? Oh, God. I mean, listen, like, like, if you're prepared for your job to be awkward and you're prepared for what's going to come of it, go for it. Like, date anybody you want as long as you understand that there's going to be repercussions for that and be prepared for the repercussions. You know, your, your best friend just broke up with his girl. And you want to like date her? Okay, well, be prepared that you potentially won't talk to your best friend again, right? So, yeah. Just know the consequences, be honest. If the risk is greater than the, or if the reward is greater than the risk, go for it. Um,. Okay, I go to the store often. It's a small store. Only one girl works there. And we talk a lot when I go there, about 10 minutes. Whenever I go, should I ask her out? I'm afraid I'll get rejected. Then I can't go back to the store. So you should 100% ask her out. And if you get rejected, that's all the more reason to go back to the store. And I highly recommend that if you get rejected, to go back to the store within a couple of days. Because you just have to rip the Band-Aid off. Do it while you're like, you know... You're, you're feeling that way because it's going to help you for the next time you get rejected. Rejection is normal. It's a normal experience. It's a normal thing. Um, how do you get your confidence back after a long relationship? I think it takes time. Um, and I think you have to really like break down. I don't know. Are, is, is your confidence because the relationship was bad? Or are you just like, you just don't feel like 
like going out and doing things. I think you need to break it down before you can figure out how to fix it a little bit. I used to approach women everywhere, store, airport, gas stations, anywhere. I couldn't date nowadays. Can't do it that anymore. No, right, Dale? 